Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 on Drachmir, my level 50 cleric, and as you may have just noticed, I handed in a coral to Naox, who spawns Ixblat. If you look over to the right a little bit, you can see that there's an Ixblat already down, that's because we came into the zone with an Ixblat there, and uh, we went ahead and killed it. So, got a scepter for Dimaru, and also went ahead and uh, did the turn-in, because I had to get the note, and then also get the scepter, and ended up getting two people scepters this evening. Now, this footage here is actually showing the very first kill, because for some reason, I didn't record the, um, the, the my kill. I only ended up recording the looting of the items at the end. Don't know what happened there. But the night that I was doing all this recording, um, there were a lot of fumbles and missteps. So let me tell you about those real quick. So we ended up, after doing this, we went to Chardock and we did two cycles of the Overking, the Queen, and the Prince. Got uh, an epic uh, for the enchanter, got two scrolls, no uh, warrior epic pieces, and um, ended up leaving pretty, pretty cool. So come to find out that uh, later on, whenever I was trying to make space to do some recordings, um, I ended up deleting the Chardock footage. Not only that, not only that, my friends, I am such a fool that I deleted the turn-in of the scepter, the scroll, and the note. So, uh, while it may not show in this video or any other video, because that uh, that video is gone to the oblivion, um, I now have a pearl in hand and uh, camped out um, at... Um, at rage fires in inside naggy slash rage fires spawn area so uh tomorrow the plan is if we if we can get uh people or if we can actually get the kill um we're going to go ahead and try to get rage fire done now some people may think that rage fire is a hard thing to get but in actuality if you mobilize and you're ready for rage fire and you have a timer for rage fire you can get it done rather easily. Uh, we have had a monk tracking it for us. Um, he goes in and kills um, King Tranix, kills all the giants, and then uh, while he is there, he keeps track of if uh, Rage fires up, and whenever he spawned, because he spawned uh, every day that, uh, that he went there, he is a 24-hour spawn other than if Nagi spawns. So we ended up going ahead and um, getting everything ready. I camped out for the rage fire portion. And, um, well, I guess we'll have to see if I got it. Now, I uh, do have to say before the, uh, we end here that uh, you need to make sure that if you're going to be camped in there, that you know that Nagi is not in the window. Because if Nagi spawns while you're in there and you die... That is considered FTE for your guild for Nagi, and that is against the rules, and you will get banned. So make sure that Nagfin is not in window. But either way, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.